We will be singing There Are Many Ways, solo by Kendall Harris, A Time for Love, duet by Joseph Schuyler and Gabriella Pizzagoni, Aha, solo by Nic Nicole Sutera, One Day I'll Fly Away, Send Me On Our Way, solo by Yasmin Richards. So. Mm -hmm.
to reach out my hand. Ombe say oh, ombe tell you run. Hi, Burlington Township High School. This is Steve Bishop. I just got done listening to your performance for the National Jazz Festival. And thank you very much for a really, really terrific performance. Uh, five very difficult selections. And uh, I think overall you handled them quite well. Uh, I'll offer a few thoughts and, um, you know, take them as you will. So the uh, opening tune... Uh, had a really, really nice feel. I felt like the swing was really nicely in the pocket. Um, stylistically, was was pretty solid throughout. Be careful with transitions because um, that's really the telling point in a, a swing tune like that um, is how do you get in and out of different phrases. And if they're just a little bit 
uh, off center, um, it, it can give us a, a sense that um, we're not solid throughout. However, I thought that that tune had a really, really nice uh, feel and a cohesive style. Uh, the second tune is uh, also was, I thought, really, really nicely done. I might have thought about moving it a little bit quicker overall, just to try to keep some of the lyric concepts. Uh, you know, I, I'm really a big believer in um, storytelling when it comes to, to jazz, and I, I like to keep uh, group lyrics together so that sentence structure uh, is maintained, especially in the jazz world. Um, mu the unison phrasing, be careful that everybody is breathing at the same place or in the same way and, and whatnot. There was a, a few stylistic variations there. Um, otherwise, I thought it was a very tight uh, piece overall. The, uh, the third tune was Aha, right? So uh, that... Um, that one seemed like it might have gotten away from us a little bit. The, uh, you know, you were attacking it, but I don't know that we ever settled into uh, a well-defined groove for the tune. One of the things about something like an aha that even though it's light speed is it wants to feel very controlled. Um, if it feels frenetic to the audience, we get nervous and, and there's nothing for us to settle into. So we really want to make sure that pieces like that have a, a really consistent groove in the middle. And that's going to be between the bases and the middle parts. That's the key in, in that place. Um, the fourth tune. Oh, right, right, right. The ballad. Uh, what a difficult chart. Uh, I do know that chart pretty well. And... Um, you have to make sure that all the phrasing is happening together. Uh, it's got some very difficult harmonies, especially in the in the lower registers. And um, I think for the most part, you approached it well. Once again, I would consider taking the lyrics and letting them drive the piece more. We kind of can get stuck in the idea that Ballads need to be slow, and ballad is, to me, more of an idea rather than a tempo. And so you might be able to have pushed some of the phrasing along a little bit, and that would have helped the air, and that might have helped um, just the overall build of the tune. Uh, but I think you handled that pretty well. Uh, Send Me On My Way is the last tune. Uh, the word I have that I wrote down was bite. You know, it could use a little bit more bite throughout all of the parts to help keep it together and to help keep uh, the rhythmic uh, structure uh, really sharp um, in, in support of everything that's going on. That will also help align the chords, uh, um, I think. Um, so overall, uh, I think you did a wonderful job. You should be very proud of yourselves. It was a very, very difficult year for everybody getting back on the horse. Uh, and trying to figure out how the heck uh, we're going to manage the next uh, COVID outbreak or not COVID outbreak. Um, so you should be very proud of what you were able to pull off. And I look forward to uh, hearing you guys in the future. You take care. Bye now.